Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on Nintendo Switch. We're continuing on with our walk through the game, so thank you guys so much for watching. Loads of fun things happening with this game, and let me tell you how gigantic this game really is. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, so here's what we're doing. Uh, we are going to continue our Let's Play of this. We're going to do it episode by episode, chapter by chapter. Uh, our very first episode was like four chapters built into it. So that was like a big old, hey, this is what the series is all about. If you like it, continue watching. So today's episode is all about doing one level. That means that we are going to be live streaming every single level. So multiple chances for you guys to come on board and watch. So all of today, once we're done with this one, we're gonna end it. We'll take a little breather. We'll come right back into it. So thank you guys so much for watching. All of you guys that have been enjoying the live stream so far, you guys are great. We do have a giveaway that we're partnered up with Zelda Universe for. So make sure that you guys check out the links in the description below. And of course, answer our comment question today, which is who do you prefer, Zelda or Sheik? And of course, tell me why. Comment that uh, once the video goes live. So anyway, we're here. Thanks for coming and uh, I'm ready for this. So let's do it. Uh, yeah, let me know. Show your support for the series. Smash that like button. Let's go. All right, so today's episode, what do we got? Uh, oh, no, we're not doing anything with Amiibo yet. Uh, we'll, we'll possibly adventure into that a little bit later. But anyway, we're jumping into uh, this mode. We're going to go over to Death Mountain, and yeah, we're going to play as Impa. It looks like there is two heart pieces, and we're going to get them today. So we're going to go strong attack one, water one. Yeah, this one seems a little bit stronger, so let's use that. Let's go. Leading a small force of Hyrulean soldiers, Impa stepped into one of the newly opened portals. The kingdom spread out before her seemed like the Hyrule she knew, yet it was somehow very different. Before long, she realized that they have traveled back to the era of the mythical hero of time. Odd, Impa began her search for the Gate of Souls. She sensed an evil presence on Death Mountain and set out for the ominous peak. And with her came the mysterious Sheik. The mysterious Sheik. No spoilers. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, let's start on board, and let's see what we can do. Uh, you could accompany either Link or Lana. Why did you choose to follow me? I can't figure you out. How much do you really know about the Sheikah tribe? Tell me, who is your tribe's leader? Impa, which would be you. Correct, and yet there is no one named Sheik in my tribe. Hmm. So then, who does that make you? What are you really after? Hey, listen, Princess Ruto is in trouble. Hey, listen, what? Ruto, Princess of the Zoras? She was abducted by the Gorons. Uh-oh. Their leader, Darunia, used to be such a gentle soul. And a good dancer, too. Someone named Zelda showed up, and he hasn't been the same since. Zelda? Princess Zelda's here? Let's go and see with our own eyes. All right, so we are in the Ocarina of Time little plot line here. So that's kind of great. All right, so let's venture out. I'm going to go, I guess, not this way. I'm going to go this way. And we're going to start taking forts. And there's going to be two heart pieces and a gold skull tula. I'm hoping that we can indeed uh, get those really quick. All right, we're gonna shoot that Deku Baba, and then, like, this is just a random Goron. Like, I feel bad beating up Gorons. Like, I love the Gorons in, um, in Ocarina of Time. Those are, like, my favorite tribe. And th this dude just punched me! All right, so we're gonna take this East Keep. Alright, 100 KOs. We took the keep. We're going to continue on. <clears throat> Alright, so there is an owl statue somewhere over here if you look for it. Right? Am I blind? Oh, here we go. 
Okay, so that means that we can warp at any given time if we wanted to. Oh, and there's rocks too, just like in uh, just like in the real game. All right, here we go. Watch out for the boulders. All right, so we captured the East Keep. Let's head on over to this keep, and we may have to beat up Darunia. I'm just gonna beat these guys up real quick with our um, warrior special there. Not really that strong. All right, so Boulder Tech is preventing Hylian Captain's advance. So we may have to um, do something about a boulder? But let me take this keep really quick. Goron Fort, oh man. Okay, so they're actually going towards the allied base. I gotta take this keep really quick. And then we're gonna go down. Okay, connecting gate is open. We will take this chest and let's move out. So there's gonna be a lot of things that's gonna happen in this uh, in this level. There's just so much. And that's what's gonna, it's pretty much the entire game. There's like so many little things that you have to babysit. But it's still a fun time. So let's go with Impa and we are gonna go straight down and intercept the faction of the Goron troops that are gonna be aiming for us. All right, so whenever you guys are playing this uh, along with, make sure that you guys are aiming for anyone with like a health bar. And there's a really interesting um, option in the options menu that allows you to have every single enemy have a health bar. Like, why did they even program that? Weird. All right, so here's the allied base. I mean, I don't really see too many other Gorons. I'm just gonna beat up some of these guys. I just shot him point blank. What are we, Takami from Fire Emblem? Get out of here. All right, so I'm gonna head over this way. Wait, do I have the owl? The owl statue over here would be very good to do. So here comes a boulder, and the boulder is going to crush some Gorons. Why can't I activate this? Maybe it's already activated. All right, so boulders are happening. We gotta go stop these boulders from um, being thrown. So we gotta go capture the West Keep, which is gonna be right over this way. So let's go capture that. Doesn't look like I can make it up there, so I gotta go all the way around the other way. Oh, here, how about this? Let's actually use the Ocarina. Um. Oh, that's so interesting, yeah. All right, well, I'm down. All right, so now that we did that, we can easily come over here to the West Keep. We're gonna save this guy a little bit. I wanna say that these little Gorons are weak against water, so I guess it's good that we've got Impa on board. That's all I have. Oh no, our captain! Uh oh. No, 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 accidentally. <laughs> How many times is that ever gonna happen today? How do I get inside the West Keep? Oh, here we go, gotcha. Okay, so got him defeated. We just gotta take the Keep boss now. Okay, so we got the West Keep done. There's a little outpost over here. I'm gonna take that really quick. Okay, so we should be good. There's another little outpost right up front. This way I'll take. Okay, so we stopped the boulder. Now Darunia is in the Chief's room. So you guys remember Darunia from Ocarina of Time. So something's going on with him. Not really sure what. But, we better figure it out. Ow, dudes. Okay, so we gotta go defeat Darunia. Now, the best way of getting over there, I don't know, maybe it's this way? Let's take a look. <laughs> don't kill Gorons. I know, man, I know Cameron, trust me, dude. I love their little faces. Their little faces are so cute and sweet. I still remember, uh, you know, Big Goron. You guys remember Big Goron from Ocarina? Dude, that guy was awesome. OK, 
Okay, slice him. That guy wasn't even a like an outpost captain. Okay, anyway. So let's see what we got here. Tell me of your fondest memories of Ocarina of Time, and I'll read some of them in the chat. How about that? That'd be pretty fun. For those of you guys that played Ocarina, either you grew up with it or you played it uh, after the fact, I want to hear some of your fond memories. Okay, uh, what are we doing? I guess we're going in here. Can we kill this guy? What is going on? Goron Captain? Alright, so here's another outpost. Uh, we are definitely not doing this game 100%. I'm sorry, I don't have 300 hours to put into this game. We got Mario Tennis Aces that we gotta focus on a little bit. <laughs> Good question, though. Usually I put like 100% in the title or description, so pay attention to that, too. Uh, what is that, Amber Mace uh, remembers when you could feed uh, Epona carrots? Yeah, yeah, that was fun. I still remember I had a hard time beating, um, what's his name, Ingo? Uh, the first time I played the game, Ocarina of Time? Defeating Ingo in that race in order to get Epona back, I remember that was really tough for me. Alright, how am I getting here? Okay, I need to, I need to warp out of here. Alright, so we're going elsewhere. We're gonna go to this one. And yeah, warping in this game is so good. Especially if there's warps available for you, so... I like that a lot. Yeah, I don't know, isn't like 100% getting like all the characters up to like level 255 or something like that? And, oh my gosh, yes, 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 play the ocarina. Oh my gosh, I love that. Every time. Okay, keep bosses here, let's get him. Like, I can't wait to play as Darunia. Like, I love, I love his character. Okay, so now I gotta start paying attention because what, Gold, Gold Skulltula is coming? Okay, so East Goron Keep. And that is one of the two heart pieces that we're gonna need. Okay, so southeast of the East Boulder Keep. Okay, we gotta go over that way. Okay, Gold Skulltula, I gotta get there, man. I don't know how long it's been, but. I don't know the fastest way. I guess my fastest way would be over here. Warping, going down and over, or like over and through. Yeah, I think so. Northwest of the West Boulder Keep, use the hook shot. I don't think I can even get this gold skulltula, to be honest. I don't think I can, because I may need the hook shot for it, so. That's gonna be lame. I don't think we get the, how many guys remember which level we get the hook shot in? Darunia is beating up people. Oh my gosh, what's happening down there? Is that the allied base about to die? Yeah, like I can't get up here. That's where the, the thing is. Okay, forget it. Yeah, I can't get it. Twilight Palace says you guys. All right, so Twilight Palace, that's great. Thank you for that information. Uh, one, two, three, Ludwig von Koopa and Amber May. You guys remember. All right, so here we go. Here goes Darunia. We're gonna have to beat him up. But I need to also make sure that we get Sheik's uh, heart piece. Where is he? Oh my, oh my, what a wake up. Wait, where the heck is Sheik? Are you helping us or what? Did 
defeat all the keep saboteurs? All right, don't let the Highland forces fail. Trust me, I won't. Like, we've already seen, like, during our episode one, like, we've seen, like, how crazy these enemies are. Come on, Darunia, let's go already. I just gotta get this guy out of here. Tell him to go home. Okay, so we got him. Uh, Skulltula, I can't get. So I'm gonna go to the East Keep. And we're gonna try to go. over here yeah we're gonna warp again dude warping around this map that's pretty cool I'm gonna warp over here we're gonna go to that other keep and go from there okay so answer me this riddle me this Batman uh, is isn't Sheik supposed to show up in this level or we have to beat it once and then go back and revisit it Wait. Hold on. So Sheik was in this level? You're telling me that Sheik was in this level at the beginning? And then I didn't revive her? Is that what you guys are saying? What? No, someone else confirmed that. I don't believe that. <laughs> Maybe that was it. Then I need to start over. We should start over. Because I want to get all this stuff. Someone confirmed that... My resident expert, 123 Ludwig von Koopa, I'm gonna have to believe you. You're my trusted source here. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. <clears throat> Okay, you don't have to start over since you guys are signed out. Okay, Darunia is back. What in the world? <clears throat> Laurel good. See, that's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Laurel good also confirms that you don't have to restart the chapter because you don't get access to Sheik yet. gonna keep on trying these water attacks. If we leave Darunia to his own device, he's bound to cause us more trouble. Darunia, man. He's really bulky. But we did get Sheiks. <laughs> wow, exploded on me. Here we go, done. All right, so Darunia is gone. What else is happening? All right, so I'm just looking over here, looking at this map. Oh, Daruni has temporarily retreated to the chief's room. Okay, that's great and all. <clears throat> but I do see this area right over here that I haven't activated. Maybe I did activate the statue, I don't remember. But let's see. Maybe I did not. Okay, so here we go. We're going to activate that so we can warp over to it. I'm going to take this. That is clearly playing the ocarina. 
<laughs> I love that. Keep boss, we're gonna make quick work of him. Okay, so quick work of him done. Uh, I think we opened the way now. Yes, we did. Cool. We're gonna beat up this little baby. I don't like the sounds that they make when we hit them and they KO. It's very sad. All right, so we're taking over. We're taking over these keeps again. Ay, ay. So I heard you guys like bombs. <laughs> Okay, defend the West Boulder Keep until Sheik arrives. Oh, okay. That's what we're missing here. Where is Sheik at? Darunia has reappeared in from the Chief's room. We've already defended this. Darunia is oh, advancing towards the Allied base. Don't worry, he's gonna like show up right here. Oh, there he is. Hey, big boy. Yo! Darunia! Here we go. Sheik has reached the West Boulder Keep. Alright, so maybe we may be able to play this here. I don't know. We're ready. My plan begins now. What's your plan, Sheik? Oh, you're throwing boulders. You're using the boulders against them. Oh no, I like that vase. Remember the vase that spun around in Ocarina? And you like threw bombs into it and you get a heart piece? <clears throat> oh man. Okay, raise your hand in the comments if you guys remember that from Ocarina. Dude, I want to play Ocarina again. I'm just... So Darunia retreated. <clears throat> wow. Now here he is. Oh my! <clears throat> Posh Gamer says I look like your cousin. Send me, tweet me a picture of your cousin. I'd like to see that. <clears throat> big pose were discovered at the chief's room. What are big pose doing here? Just being uh, diversions. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get this big twofer right here. What's a bomb chew doing here? What? Excuse me? Hold on. There, what? Why is there a... Just when you thought things were getting tough? They get a lot tougher. Defeat the bomb true operators? <clears throat> that was a bomb true, right? Bomb true operator, done. Alright, so now I gotta go. What is that happening by the ally base? Oh, yes! Press the A button to use the ocarina. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. <clears throat> they don't touch me. All right, so we need to go to get the allied base. I think that may be Darunia. I don't know. But someone's advancing. It is the Bomb Chu. Oh my gosh. What if it makes it to the base? Do we lose? Oh my gosh, that was clutch. Wait, who's here? 
Did we just save ourselves? Okay, defeat Darune to return his sanity? <laughs> oh god, this game's funny. Alright, um, now we are going to warp away. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go over here. Okay, uh, if you want to defeat a boss or mini boss, try hitting them twice and then dodge. Uh, I'll give that a shot. Oh, that sounds like something interesting. Like, I know that you can use dodge to cancel out animation frames, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of just focusing on um, Sheik's YYX attack. Oh wait, this is a good bomb shoe. Alright, deal. I'm actually going to take this, and I'm going to start shooting some arrows at Darunia. If that does anything, to be honest. Oh, dude, let me shoot an arrow at you, buddy. Yo, he's so strong. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. Close quarters combat is not working with these arrows. All right, is there anything else I need to do? Because I think this is the end. Let's go beat up Darunia. Yo, dude. Hey, maybe you're right, doing the one-two attack <laughs> is a little bit quicker. Wow. Dude, what a tip. What a tip. That was a good one, dude. Do we win now? All right, so things we can't get in this level yet is because we don't have that hook shot. So, um, yeah, I, I think that we're going to have to do something a little different. I'm up for playing the level again if you guys want with Sheik. Let me know, what do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you guys want me to play this level again with Sheik so that we can get our heart piece. And then we may have to play this level again a little bit later in order to get the gold skull Tula because we don't have the hook shot yet, so. And then a lot of you guys have been telling me in episode one that uh, the, the little collectibles that are all over the map, those actually get picked up. Those get picked up by the end of the chapter. I don't know. I can see where he's saying, yeah, I go get the hookshot first, but the hookshot's gonna be in the Twilight Palace, and like, I just wanna get these hearts really quick, so... I think that's what we're gonna do. Do you know how long it took Impa to practice that? All right, that was pretty good. All right, so we had a good time today. That was pretty fun. <clears throat> All right, so that was decent. Uh, I do indeed, We oh, we got the big Goron's knife. All right, I'm down with that. Yo, big Goron's knife. We got some items for Zant, and we got a giant stick, and uh, we got these little things. So, hey, go for it. We are in the Superstar. Activated all Focus Spirit bonuses. Uh, now a new historical entry, now available for Darunia. We've got a, no, another one for Princess Ruto. All right, so Death Mountain, playable warriors. Yeah, let's go and get it with Sheik. We're gonna do that. And then we'll have to play it again a third time. It's fine. It's for the let's play, right? So we got uh, lightning bonus up with Sheik right now. We're gonna jump in and we're gonna totally replay it. Of and we can skip this stuff. It should be like another maybe like 15 minute the thing. And then we'll move on to the next live stream. All right, so I do want to say thanks again for all of you guys who have come out to the live stream and watched it live. All you guys watching post, thank you for being here as well. And uh, yeah, let's let's mess up some Gorons with Sheik over here. Now, what's going to be really interesting, I'm under the impression that Gorons are weak against water. Because they're dry and whatnot. So we're going to be using these tornado attacks all day. Okay, I, I kind of want to aim for the Deku Baba, but... Anyway. So we just got to redo the exact same thing. Not a big deal. It's for Sheik. We're doing it for Sheik. 
No, you're the wrong dude. Oh my gosh, get out of there, buddy. Okay, I got my little water shield on, so I'm not gonna get attacked by this poison anymore. Do you guys know that you can do that with Sheik? It's pretty cool. Yeah, so if you, the gimmick with Sheik is that if you have a, let's see. If you do the water, right? You do the water attack, which is YX. And then by doing it YX, you should be able to, ooh, wow, dude. You dodge through boulders too? And then if you press X neutral, you should be able to play the ocarina and get whatever elemental that is. Like, I love just running around with this thing. It's awesome. All right, so here we go. We're gonna play the, uh, the harp. And we're gonna electrify everyone. Even though it's like super weak damage. It still looks, it looks awesome. It looks totally boss. All right, so we're gonna take this. It's going to be, what, a hidden weapon of some sort? Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. All right, here we go. So we got a new weapon. That's cool. We can't even see what it is yet, so don't, um, don't get too excited. Okay, so the YYYX combo is the electric one, and then with this current weapon that I have equipped, it is uh, electric power up, which is kind of good. But I still want to like launch these like little hurricanes at them. So the Goron forces capture the West Boulder Keep. We're just gonna rinse and repeat everything. And I think the Allied base may be under attack with these boulders. So again, just gotta knock these little dudes out. Here we go. Got that West Keep. That's right, I agree with you, uh, Oreo. Love, uh, Oreo says, I love the effects of Sheik because even though they help you out a little bit, anything works, that's right. Like, I love this water barrier that she's got. Like, I, I just, it's awesome. Especially against all the Gibdos. Okay, so we captured both those keeps. I'm, I guess I'm gonna make my way down over here because I see some advancement happening on the allied base. Okay, so Impa's over here, too, doing some work. Who dare attack the Gorons? <laughs> I don't mean to. As I say that while I'm uh, destroying the Gorons. All right, so I'm actually gonna go back this way. We gotta go defeat Darunia. Darunia is all the way up top. But I'm gonna go this way so I can warp to this spot relatively easy. I didn't activate the warp while I was over here. So, another good way of playing this level. You're still alive. And that's the only thing I don't like about Sheik is that her, da her damage output doesn't seem to be that strong. It may just be me. And uh, what level I currently have Sheik at. Yeah, but her, her special, her warrior special is pretty good. I like that, that it hits everyone around you in a circle. So you don't have to worry about like you missing the uh, enemy very narrowly. Okay, so we took this keep. Darunia is going to be heading down towards the middle. So I can just easily warp over there. And then we're going to do it again. What will I look like with blue hair? I don't know. I told you guys 500. If we hit 500 sponsors, you guys will you guys will see what I look like with blue hair. <laughs> All right, so she kept to the West Keep. Good job, go me. All right, am I waiting for you to come down or what? 
Uh, defeat Darunia. That's all I have for today, Goron Captain says. Alright, Goron Captain, Forest Dar Okay, I'm just gonna run over there. I don't have the hook shot. Probably be faster if I warp, but I'm getting tired of warping, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a little exercise. And hey, you know what we found by doing exercise? We got 30% magic up, or 20%. Okay, so now Darunia is advancing towards the allied base? Come on, man, I was just going around to get you. Whatever. <laughs> Might as well just warp. We're gonna warp back. Should have just stayed there. All right, here we go. So let's go on board. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get Darunia do some work. I like his entrance, and I like his like purple eyes. Like, what is that? Do we get to see him do his dance? Hmm. I don't know. Here we go. Darunia. Oh, don't you dare come in here! Come to my house, boyo! Oh my gosh, I got hit by that. Dude, I have a feeling I'm not doing any damage against this one. Oh, come on, I can't touch the fire? <laughs> Get this guy! And I don't even know if this is honestly worth doing. I don't even see his health bar moving down at all. Like, I'm just throwing waterfalls at the boy. We're not doing any damage against it. How, how about you eat a bomb? Uh huh. Where does he get that super armor from? Oh my gosh, I gotta put on my water armor, dude. Forget this. I don't know if my water armor prevents me from getting hit by his little lava attack. Oh, dude, it does! Yo, check that out! Okay, water armor on Cheek prevents you from getting hurt by Darunia's, like, KO lava. Check that out, that's actually really cool. I did not know that. So you can just keep on button mashing against him. We good here? Oh my gosh, Darunia, are you still here? All right, I'm warping out of here. Yo, this is a lot harder to do with, with Sheik. So we're getting pelted with boulders. Uh, so I'm gonna go, I guess I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna take it to the west. We're gonna go get the east keep. And boulders don't hit me either, right? Maybe I take the damage, but I don't know. Hey dudes, it's me. Okay, so there's the thousand KOs. Gold Skull Till appeared, but again, we can't get it because we don't have the hook shot. So, not a big deal. Alright, so we took that. Where's Sheik's thing? Oh, Sheik's... Heart piece is over this way, isn't it?
Dude, keep Saboteur. Don't worry, I got him. Okay, done. Alright, keep Saboteur is done. Alright, so now we can go... Uh, I'm gonna warp again. We're gonna warp over to the west side. <clears throat> okay, East Boulder Keep. There should be a rock over there, but I'm gonna... Once we get to the point where everything is kind of under control and I gotta go fight Darunia over in his place, then we're gonna go get that heart piece. So I hope that by me playing this a second time, all of you guys kind of know where the stuff is at, and then when you guys are playing, you guys can use this as a guide to collect the heart pieces, right? Need my little water force field here. It's done, we're gonna use it. Okay, got that dude. Checkpoint's down. Here's another keep saboteur. He's pretty much done. Okay, and then there's another one over here. That's all the strength you have for today. Good job. Who's attacking the allied base? Dude, I thought I took those boulder bases at, man. Oh my gosh. I was just there. I was just at the west keep. I was about to go get that heart, but not happening. So I need to do this and I need to go get west boulder keep because apparently they're launching boulders at us still. So I'm gonna pass through here. Sorry, Impa, you got this. Boulder, nope. Somebody help send us some support. Okay, don't worry. Dude, I thought I took this! You babies! Alright, keep bosses here. Got the keep boss. Okay, got the keep. Now. Something's still happening to the, um, to the area. Outpost captain, get rid of him. Defeat Darunia? You think I got time for that? Something's happening at the Allied base. Darunia's in the Allied base. That's what's happening. Okay, great. Get this guy! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Is this the cheese strat? Two hits and then... I'll try it, I'll give it, a, I'll give it some work. Be here all day doing that strategy, but that it's actually kind of working. So, and then allow Darunia to do his um, his little boulder attack a little bit. I mean, the strat is working. I do like it. Do your boulder attack. Let's go. Okay, forget it. It's just boring. <laughs> you know what I mean?
You done yet? Allied base in danger. No, it's not. I'm here. <laughs> We're fine. We're under control. We defeated Daruni again. Okay, can I go get my um, heart piece now? Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna go get this. I'm gonna go recapture this keep and then we're gonna look for the... There's a little boulder that I gotta blow up. What does it mean when these little Gorons are green? <laughs> Is that like a little Goron disease that they have? What are they doing here? I mean, looking for a boulder. This is what? This is East Boulder Keep? This is East Keep. Oh, it's not East Boulder Keep. All right, so there should be a rock somewhere around here. Ooh, big bomb, cool. All right, so we're gonna be looking for a big, bo oh, is that, could that be it? That looks suspicious. Big bomb. A chicken! That's not a heart. This is a stupid weapon. And what do we do with the chickens, guys? I know we're not supposed to attack them. But what do they do? Can they work with us? Oh, here we go. This is it. This is the boulder that we needed. And here is the heart piece for Sheik. The one reason... Why we went through and replayed this again. Wow. Just for this. All right, it's fun. Getting heart pieces is fun. But I'm not gonna get every single one in like adventure mode either. No way, man. It's intimidating. All right, so anyway, let's go. We've gotta go all the way up north. I'm gonna beat this little keep dude. Something's happening over here in West Boulder Keep. So we're set. So now you guys know, if you guys are playing as Sheik, you can get that little heart piece there. So that's exactly what we wanted. All right, so something's happening in here. You guys okay? Daruni has appeared in front of the chief's room. Okay. And then this person, this is Impa. Get him. All right, thanks, Impa. You got this? I'm gonna leave. Excellent work. Okay, so just doing the neutral Y combo will KO them. Anyone with a health bar doing the neutral Y combo will do that. Will do that work. Yeah, okay, so simple gaming, like, how do you do that? How do you get the chicken to fight with you? Because I'm, I'm not gonna attack it, you know what I mean? Because you, you don't just attack the cuckoos. 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 <laughs> All right, so now that we're done with this area. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so Aaron Jones says, I tried killing the chicken and it basically just has them around you across the map. Are they attacking you? Has them around you? What does that mean? Are they attacking you or are they just like helping out somehow? I don't know. I think I should just do it for science. We need to go find out that chicken. The next time I'm in the area, for science. Let's go see what it does. But watch it like KO us and then we have to play this level again. So I'm not about to do that. As much as I love Hyrule Warriors, and as much as I love this game, it can get pretty repetitive. Because all you're doing, literally, is just pressing this Y button, occasionally pressing the X button. I mean, yeah, it can totally get repetitive. It's a good game, though. It's a good game. Don't let me, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking the game, but... Okay, time to take him down. I'm working on it. I don't have any magic, though. Like, I want some magic so I can do some work. Like, is there magic in here? No, it's usually um, SP. Okay, that's great. Let's impose. Let's get a twofer.
and chase after him and do this extra credit hit. Bomb Chews! Oh my gosh. I gotta abandon this guy. I gotta go with the Bomb Chews. I don't know what the best combo against a Bomb Chew is. So I'm just going neutral Y. Okay, Bomb Chew's done. I gotta get rid of the Bomb Chew Operator. Okay, I'm gonna run across. I don't have time to mess with Pose. I don't have time to mess with Darunia. We gotta get these bomb shoes first. Goron Captain, don't have time to mess with you. Bomb Chew Operator. Here we are. Holy moly! This is just a Goron troop. We're gonna blow him up. And we're gonna hit the bomb shoe too with this special. That's pretty cool. The bomb shoe's lit up. So bomb shoe's gonna be taking some damage. And now we win. Yay, and we get a chest for saying thank you. All right, so what else is here? Bomb you Operator. All right. I'm gonna turn on my little, um, my potion thing. My invulnerability. Okay, 2,000 enemies, done. Okay, good job. Tekubaba, done. Okay, this keep is done. I gotta go beat up Darunia now. Okay, so we defeated all the Bomb Chew operators. I did it. And seize the Bomb Chew. How many of you guys remember Bomb Chew Bowling? Bomb Chew Bowling, ladies and gentlemen. That was a thing. Believe it or not. I love it how if you do the little water attack. If you do the little water attack. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? Like he goes flying. He's like flipping through the air. It's so hilarious. Like a little baby boy. Get this big guy! Come on, come on! What is this bomb chew doing here? Oh, it's gonna blow up Darunia? Alright. <laughs> and that's it, ladies and gentlemen, we win. So, that's pretty interesting. So, we knock some sense into Darunia. And look at that statue. I don't think I've ever seen that statue before. It looks pretty cool. Would you mind kindly releasing Princess? Oh yeah, of course. Man, I feel terrible for everything we've been doing. Many Gorons were harmed during this uh, episode. I'm sorry. I am Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. Yes, you are. You want me to carry you? Am I going to carry you over my head and like toss you around and throw you on switches like this time or what? <laughs> oh, I remember that. Victory. All right, that's good. So Simple Gaming says, I just looked it up and it doesn't seem like befriending certain chickens uh, like that one isn't possible. However, if attacked by either team, it goes on an endless rampage on both armies. Hmm. I will, uh, I will look into that further. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty good. It's pretty good. We, uh, we did this level, we got everything we needed with Sheik, we got Butterfly Parasol, we got some other stuff, we got some, some of these things, Marathon Man, cool. <laughs> but yeah, we are, we are completely done with this level. So, not too bad, it took, what, 54 minutes, about an hour to do the level twice? I had a pretty good time with it, did you guys have a good time as well? 
So we may have to do this level one more time once we get that hook shot, and the hook shot is going to be in uh, Twilight Palace, which is the level directly after this one. So keep that in mind if you guys are going to be playing along with, uh, feel free. So Skyloft, I mean, I think the next level that we're going to do is Twilight Field, and we're going to have that with Lana. That'll be pretty fun. And we get to show even more Lana gameplay, one of my favorite characters in the game. And then after that, we're going to go into Skyloft, and then the next episode, like Hylia, Twilight Palace, whatever the next thing is for um, for that. So anyway, thanks for coming, guys. We got another uh, couple moments here. We might as well soup up our characters. Lana, since she's going to be next, I might as well give her anything that we need. Lana, ask for it, and it's all yours. You can have it. So we got a new uh, little combo for her and the stick. That's kind of cool. <laughs> she uses like a Deku stick and attacks with it. I don't even remember what that does. But anyway, anything for badge market? Yeah, for Sheik, we got some stuff for her. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to create Din's Fire. Make the special attack gauge fill up faster. Okay. Oh, Focus Spirit engaged. That's great. Impa, yeah, I feel that we use Impa a lot. So it's definitely worth using the materials for Impa and everything like that. So this is actually my favorite part about the game. My favorite part about the game is doing all these little skill trees and stuff like that. I think it's really fun. And uh, I think it, it, it lends to a lot of replayability. Like you gotta get all these materials. You have to uh, potentially farm some like silver, some gold rank materials in order to unlock some of these things. And I think that's really fun. It, it lends a lot towards um, even more replayability. So I'm down for it. It's pretty cool. All right, so that's really all I got. I got 54,000 rupees. You can in this game, you can go into the training dojo and you could spend the rupees to level up any character up to the highest level character that you currently have. So that's pretty decent in case you're struggling with a character or um, you wanna get some people going a little bit faster. And of course there's a smithy where you can sell all your weapons for rupees, you can fuse them together. Apothecaries, you can make some uh, different potions to get more uh, weapon drops and whatnot, but you know what? I think that's going to be it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, Shoutouts again to Nintendo of America for providing a copy of the game. We are going to set up for the next stream. I'm going to end this stream right now, and then we'll see you guys on the next one. Within, give me like 15 minutes and I'll have it going, so don't go anywhere. Stick around. We're going to be playing this game a lot. I'm hoping that we can get at least three more live streams going, because if all of these guys are going to be one run and done, that's going to be beautiful for us, and I can't wait for that because then that means we can just rapid fire them out, get this game done, get ready. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. All right, so ladies and gents, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. All of you guys in the comments, Jay McLean, Gaffa, Anita, Rabbit, uh, Amber, Jerry Ryan, It's Just Aqua, Jenny Jens, The Only Cove, um, Brian, Ron, Abdallabot, Amethyst, Fluffy, all you guys are great. Thank you so much. Atri Prower, again, shout outs to uh, 123, Ludwig von Kuba, whatever your name was, forgive me for uh, enlightening me on the fact that I didn't have to beat the level all over again. So, you guys are good. We'll see you in the next one. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be here, like, within the next couple moments. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be it for this episode. We got another one coming. It's going to be the Twilight Princess one. Let me know in the comments. Did you guys like Twilight Princess? One might say I started a Let's Play on that and haven't finished it. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Those are goals, right? I got goals to finish up all the Zelda games. Trust me, they're, they're really good games. So go check them out. You guys can continue watching our live playlist over here. Newest video on the channel, recommendations that way. We are going to be uploading some non-commentary gameplay of this, uh, but it's going to be episode by episode. So it's not going to be like a big old four episodes in one. It'll be nice and digestible 20 to 30 minute episodes, non-commentary, so that you guys can see that. Uh, of course, and how to get every single one of the heart pieces because in our first episode we missed a bunch of those So if you guys are wondering where those are at wait until we upload the non-commentary stuff So that'll be great right over here hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications. We'll see you guys on the next one Have a great rest of your day And I uh, can't wait to see you in the chat of the next one